Me. I feel like no one is. Nobody is doing this with me. Come on, people. In this episode of my Everyday Wife Life Vlogtober Day in the Life Vlogs. Good morning, guys. It is 8.30. It's like an hour after I ended my last week's vlog. So this is continuous. So I'm eating my banana and my granola bar and having my coffee. I am feeling better. I was feeling exhausted and achy this morning. I am going to try to make a green smoothie today. So I hope that um, problem, inflammation, and um, get on with my day. Do some chores, clean um, the master bedroom, the sheets, and um, finish up the laundry room. Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll save that for tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so you're getting a couch chat right at the beginning of the video. So, um, I think I'm looking at my chart and stuff and don't mind, you know, morning hair. So, um, it was four days ago that I took a break. So, I was meaning to do 6,000 steps every day day this month but that ain't happening by the way if you don't know what i'm talking about is walk um 30 day challenge if you want to jump in it's not too late you can jump in now so what so you missed seven days whatever actually by the time we post this videos you've missed two weeks so <laughs> i don't care just walk i want you to walk more than you did last month last week Whatever. So, I want you to join me. I feel like no one, nobody is doing this with me. Come on, people. Anyway. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Definitely not get as much participation as I did with the walk under miles thing. But, I can't. I just can't do that anymore. So, it's just too much. It was three months worth of, um, not that I vlogged for it all. But, it was, you know, posting on, on Facebook and by the way, if you want to join the Walk Water Sunshine Facebook page, the link will be down below. Um, and I post on Instagram and I post on the YouTube community page. So, whichever one of those you like, maybe that's my problem. I'm in too many places. Let me think about that. Anyhow, so I think I'm going to give myself a break every four days and not walk or um, bike ride at all. Or maybe just a small, tiny walk. And just not worry. Eh, I could do that. And not worry about the 6,000 steps. Just a small walk. Like one mile. And, yeah, I think that's... I don't know how many steps one mile is. Actually, that's probably about 3,000 steps, I'm thinking. Anyway, regardless, I have already walked gotten 6,000 steps a day in more than I have any month this whole entire year, probably ever. Again, I don't always have my phone on me, and so I am making sure I do have my phone on me. So I could have had been doing 6,000 steps and just didn't know it, but I like those 6,000 steps to be dedicated. Or somebody, somebody commented, she called it intentional. I think that's what she said intentional steps so um yeah so sometimes it's since i have my phone on me all day now sometimes it's around the house and but a lot of times i'm recording like cleaning so those steps are not counted because i'm recording myself you know a video um i don't know if y'all care even care about that so it's mostly intentional. Definitely the bike rides. And the bike rides, obviously, I don't know. I feel like that's more than a walk. But it only counts it as, I think a 10-mile bike ride is like 3,000 steps. So then I still have to do another 3,000 regular steps. Uh, so those are the days that I count. I don't worry about it. I count... Um, my unintentional steps, I guess. <laughs> Going to the grocery store, that kind of thing. But on the days that I just walk, those are usually definitely intentional steps. So, anyway, <laughs> that's way too much info that you even wanted to know. 
what I wanted to say is I want you to join me because I'm sitting here and I feel like nobody is, is, is walking with me. Only a few handful of people are doing that. So, um, let me know how I can get you to participate. And, um, uh, something is better than nothing. So, again, don't, I gave up a long time ago about worrying about missing a day. Just, it doesn't matter. Just, so what? You missed a day. Yes, it's a 30-day walking challenge. If you can. If you are just the beginning, maybe you'd walk every other day. That's better than nothing. That's fine. You would have walked 15 days this month instead of none. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and go about my day. I need a shower. And I'm supposed to be filming a video, uh, which you probably have already seen by now. And I need to finish the laundry room Monica closet. Put it back together. Finishing touches. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Okay. All right. It's about 6.15. And I'm putting this chicken in the oven. I just have olive oil just on it. Yep. Breakfast dishes didn't get done yet. Um... Actually, that was brunch, but anyway, I have this garlic, roasted garlic and herb and some olive oil. I'm going to stick that in the oven, and then I'm going to cut up some vegetables and reserve them for 30 minutes before I put them in because I don't want them cooked that much, and then finish off the chicken. Okay, I got this on, the timer set for 30 minutes. So when 30 minutes is up, I'll put this in there with the chicken. I'm gonna reserve this for to snack on later up, on through the week and put it in the mason jar or something. So yeah, and I think I'll clean up the kitchen real quick while I'm waiting to do that. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Not too bad, really. All right, I already cleaned up a little bit, so we're gonna do that, beat the clock game, and see what all I can get done in 30 minutes. Well, in 24 minutes, when the timer goes off for me to um, put the vegetables in the oven and clean up this mess, probably concentrate in this area. I do have to make the bed, that, but that's going to be in another video, so. <laughs> I'm doing three videos in one day. So earlier I straightened up the laundry room for that video, which you probably have already seen that, um, for the makeover video. So, all right, let me put the phone down. I'm not going to film this. I'm just going to go and show you before and after. All right, 31 seconds to spare. What did I do? I unloaded the dishwasher, cleared all of this up, cleared the sink up, washed that. Cleared up the counter nice, and I didn't sweep them up the floor or anything like that. I'll do that tomorrow if I do a weekly home reset. And this took two seconds to do this. There was a couple of dishes. I didn't put the blanket away because I'm probably going to sit here later and watch TV. So there's no point in straightening that up. Um, it's fine. And the, the timer is beeping for me to put the... Um, vegetables in. All right. Uh, kind of a lot of vegetables. I always do that. Why do I always do that? I need to get the smaller bowl. That's way too much, but we'll have leftovers. And, um, although the chicken ain't that big, but, um, I'm going to put it back in the oven for like 20 to 30 minutes and we'll see if it's done. I got my water ready to go for a bike ride.
okay, done. It was a gorgeous ride and the sun just came out of the clouds just as we were pulling into the driveway. And we had a big ride today, 18.5 miles. It is nice. I'm pooped though. And I got 8,000 steps, so I'm done for the day. Woohoo! Okay, guys, I'm in my uh, soundproof proof booth here trying to edit my video and do my voiceover. And guess who was crying at the door to come in? <laughs> you needed some attention? It's about 10 o'clock. I'm almost done. I'm going to uh, render my video and then upload it. And I'm going to bed. And then in the morning, I will do my description and all the links and stuff. So there's that. Okay, big baby. Okay guys, it is 12.57 and I haven't even recorded anything. So I thought I wanted to, sh I wanted to show you this. So um, I did have my banana, my coffee, and my granola bar for breakfast. And so this is lunch. So this is a, I think it's a condiment thing. It's a, a pioneer woman. But I've been showing this on Instagram. It's really helping me with portion con control. Although I don't exactly have a problem with that. Because I've been eating less. But I need to eat not just like I would just grab this and like some gluten free bread. Which I don't have. And so it's better not to just. Because even the gluten free bread is still carbs. So whatever. So um, not good carbs. Because I know this is carbs too. But it's healthy. I don't count that as carbs. So, um, portion control and getting me to eat more vegetables and fruit instead of just other stuff. So, I have some um, chicken breasts with some cheese and some carrots and dip and some um, grapes. So, um, I will link that down below. Um, you can get it from Walmart, obviously. You can get it from Amazon too, but it's twice the price. I think it was $12.99. So, it's pretty cool. And it's kind of fun to have this thing. And I was looking for our shark cutie board that um, had little cups that were like recessed in there. Because when I just put them on this board, they'll like slide around. So, I wanted it. And I couldn't find it. And the charcuterie boards are so ridiculously expensive. This actually works really well for like a grazing board or whatever and for lunch. So that's what I'm doing and I'm not getting a lot done today. I finished my video and then I was answering comments and I didn't go for a walk yet. So if I do that later, I'll, I'll show you that. So I need to do that today. I'm gonna eat this, take a break and see what else I can get done. I did do some dishes, and yeah. Okay, it's 2.15, and I'm gonna fold some laundry. And last night, I don't know if you can tell, hubby was watering the plants, but um, that window was filthy. And I thought, well, you got the hose out, let me just clean this window real quick. And I know I should have filmed it, but I didn't. And guess what, I, ju I didn't even Windex it. And let me know in the comments below, what do you call when you use glass cleaner on your windows? Do you call it Windexing? Anyway, um, I try not to use Windex anymore, cause, but I do have a little bit left. And other than that, I'm use, gonna use seventh generation glass cleaner. But for the outside of the window, I just used the Dawn and Vinegar Solution. God, you guys, I didn't even Windex it. And plus two, when I Windex, when I do Windex the windows, it's all streaky and it never, I do see a spot up there, but whatever, it's good enough. 
it comes out all streaky and I could sit there and spend like a half an hour just doing that and scrubbing each spot and whatever. Although that might be on the inside and it still comes out bad. Um, yeah, nobody is even going to know, you know, that, um, reels, TikTok, nobody's going to know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, use the dinner vinegar and Dawn solution. It works really good on the windows. The dirt just came right off with, and I use that little scrubby wand thingy. Okay, question. When is the last time you cleaned the bottom of your laundry basket? Uh, yeah. I think I need to do that today. Ew. Alright. Okay, y'all. I'm walking in the dark here because I realized I've been preaching to you guys that something is better than nothing, but I was thinking that and I wasn't doing, I wasn't going to walk today because I'm just plum tired. I did, did a weekly home reset and refresh, but I thought, well, I'm not going to get to my 6,000 steps, so why bother? Why bother? Because I said something is better than nothing. So I have that personal goal, but I still should walk on those days that I can't get to 6,000 steps. So that's what I'm doing. I'm out here in the dark and I'm walking. Probably only gonna do one mile. And, but that's better than nothing, right? Tomorrow I will do a regular walk. I think I'm gonna skip it. I was doing every other day um, biking, but uh, yesterday's bike ride kicked my butt. So, um, how many times am I gonna say that in the video? Uh, so I'm gonna give myself a break from that. Actually, my back is kind of hurting a little bit from that, so from being slouched over for so long. So anyway, all right, gonna finish my walk. No, why? Oh, there it goes. My light came on. It didn't come on before. So I'm at the gate of the park. I'm not gonna go in the park. I just wanted to show you the lake. All right. I'm gonna turn around and go back to the house. Should be about a mile, maybe a mile and a half. Good enough. All right, one mile, and I have to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. Good morning, guys. I was up at 4.30 this morning um, with a headache. It is now almost six o'clock. So I'm doing a load of laundry, and as soon as it gets light outside i'm gonna go for a walk hubby is going for a walk now he likes to walk in the dark i do not anyway so that's what's happening right now and i'm gonna finish watching the helpful home which i didn't finish yesterday she uh sunday dawn at the helpful home and i are doing a club every monday so go watch her go subscribe chat i'm trying to get her to a thousand subscribers so um Go subscribe to her channel. You will like her. Yes. All right. 10.2 miles. Good. I need to plug in the battery. It's looking low. So, I only have two bars. I should water the plants. Uh, I'm looking sad. I need to replace this one. I've already probably told you that. Oh my god, the roots! I don't, I don't, I don't feel like doing that now. Okay, and this is my breakfast. I'm having fun putting stuff in here and stuff. So that is the Simply Mills almond flour uh, pancake, gluten-free. And then I used vegan butter, strawberries, and you put egg in it and oil. And then the yogurt is the Simply Nature from all the, it's okay. Um, it's fine actually, but I prefer the um, Fage Greek yogurt. And I didn't realize I didn't buy Greek. And I didn't have any syrup. So I used some um, orange blossom honey. And I just have um, strawberries and blueberries. And a little bit of these Simply Elizabeth 
It says keto clusters. I didn't notice that. Uh, not keto, but anyway, but keto is gluten free. So this is grain free almond butter, vanilla. Anyway, now I gotta set up a spot for the gram so I can take a picture of this. <laughs> the gram. Since we ate breakfast so early, usually we don't eat breakfast at all, but we had a late breakfast, early lunch. He, wanted, he requested a snack, so I got him some chips, some green pepper, and some dip down there, and some cheese. All right, so I'm, it is six o'clock, and I'm going to Publix with a list of a few things that we need. I'm trying to remember when I went, well, I did go to Aldi's and Publix last week. I think it's been a week. So, um, hubby requested a sub, so then that means I don't need to make dinner, but I can't have that. I have cheated before and gotten their meatball sub, which is really good, but I, I, I haven't had gluten and several weeks and I'm gonna keep it that way. Yeah, so, um, and I was supposed to have a green smoothie today and I didn't. Anyway, I'm gonna do that. And then I, I didn't do much today, but I did a Sunday home refresh yesterday. So, um, my house is pretty good. I did spend a good portion of the time finally doing my planners. I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I have some content for tomorrow and then that's it because I, this vlog is gonna be too long. So, um, well not it, I'll show you. Thursday and Friday and I was supposed to do the Monica closet today finish up it just has a few finishing touches that need done a couple little hole patches and stuff like that we put a stopper behind the door so it doesn't smash a hole in it anyway um just a couple touch-up paint spots and I'll do that tomorrow and then film a tour uh, you've already seen that probably already if not go watch it because I'm posting this on Saturday and that video got posted on Thursday. This is, yeah, <laughs> future me talking. I don't know, whatever. So, um, all right. So, I'm going. I'm going to Publix. I think I still have a thousand steps to get, but um, probably we'll get those at the store, and I'll call that done because I did a ten mile bike ride today. So I'm not worried about having dedicated steps for that last thousand steps. Anyway, so um, you will see me in this vlog tomorrow. So keep watching. I'll show you what is going on in my life tomorrow. Oh, on Thursday, I have to go over to the Littles because Amy and her husband have to go to a funeral. And so I'm going to watch the Littles for them. I'm guessing my... I don't know. I, they didn't say who that was. Um, I'm guessing it must be somebody my sister knows too because she didn't ask my sister to watch them. Which would be the norm. So she must be going too. So I don't know who that would be. Somebody I, they know, but I don't know. Whatever. I'll, I'll talk to them. I'm sure that's what it is. Um, anyway. Uh. I'm going to Publix. <laughs> and you're getting a car chat instead of a couch chat unless I can fit that in before the end of the week. So I just realized I know who that is. So, which is fine because who, if I don't watch the kids, who's going to watch the kids for, for them to go? So my sister will be going to that funeral. It is my sister's friend. Um, his mom passed away from cancer. So she did tell me that the other day. Now I know her too, but... She's not my friend. <laughs> I mean, she's she is my friend, but she's my sister's friend. I mean, I, I've I've we used to hang out, but not in many many years. And anyway, so whatever. 
I don't even know why I'm telling you all that. So I was going to also go to the um, gas station and get gas, but I have enough. Hubby has to go to um, Palm Beach tomorrow for to pick up his badge for his work, his security badge. Anyway, he had to do like security clearance and stuff like that. So he has to go down to Palm Be Beach to pick up his security clearance badge tomorrow for his work. So I'll be gone for like four hours. So I'll have the house to myself for four hours. Yay. <laughs> Not I don't, I, I mean, it'd be nice. I can turn my music up loud and get some stuff done. And um, I don't get to do that because he's always in a meeting or working and it's, yeah, he doesn't want the music playing loud. So there's that. All right, guys, I'm at the park. It is like 6.30. I'm just now getting a walk in. I didn't get a walk in this morning because I wanted to finish the Monica closet and film and everything. The whole thing hanging over my head. I don't know, couldn't think about walking or biking today, but isn't that pretty? All right, uh, so currently right now I only have 1,400 steps, so I don't know that I'll get to 6,000 today. Um, yeah, I have to remember to show you my planners tomorrow, so um, I still have to edit my video for tomorrow, so there's that. Woke up this morning at 3.30, a.m. with a headache, not a migraine. At least it was only a headache. I haven't had a migraine in, in a long time, but I'm still having headaches here and there. And then I fell back asleep on the couch around, I don't know, 6.30. Totally messed up my brain schedule. Bang. Anyway, go for a walk. Oh, so tomorrow I have to be at the Littles at 9.30 instead of 11.30. Change of plans. Um, so I got it in, I don't know if I can get in a bike ride or a walk tomorrow before then. Um, I have to get up and out the door by 7.30, finish my walk or bike ride by 8.30, take a shower and go over there. She only lives 15 minutes from me, so I might be able to do that. We'll see. Walking in my flip-flops today. You can hear the birds. Look at those trees. There's actually people in the park today. Because it's cooling off at night, not in the morning. See the birds. You see them? Good morning, guys. The sun is shining right on my face here anyway so it is nine o'clock i'm headed over to the littles i'm gonna stop by Publix real quick to um grab a kale salad to eat while i'm over there um so amy has to take the boys the twins to the doctor then come back and then go to the funeral and then kayla has a game a volleyball game so <laughs> it's gonna be a long day i have mimi's little bag of craft supplies here um so I'll bring that over and I got my coffee and a banana and a granola bar in my purse and uh, yeah I'm tired from yesterday's walk so I'm just gonna sit on the couch and do nothing until the boys come back although then it'll be time for them to take a nap so uh, anyway, I'm going to go to Publix real quick before Publix is on the way to her house. Ten minutes to get there. Then her, I think her house is like five minutes from Publix. So, anyway. So, I'm, 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 I'm going to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, it is 6.50 and I'm headed to um, Chili's. It's Chili's kind of night. We haven't eaten out in like um, a couple of weeks, so 
I'm going to go get chilies for both hubby and I, and we'll see what happens tomorrow in tomorrow's part of the vlog. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not getting any steps in today. Oh well, I'll go for a bike ride tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is Friday. I think I'm going to make this the last day of the vlog because, the weekly vlog, because tomorrow I'm going to have a sleepover with the girls. So I don't want to film for that. So anyway, so I'll just do this the week vlog and won't include the weekend. So I, I it's going to be another video, but I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of my next box of the Slumpy Earth, which came a little late because I just became, the, a, you know, the first month, September, was a trial, and then they decided that I could become an ambassador, and so they send me a free box every month, and then I get um, a commission off of everyone I sell, and this month I got a little bracelet, I believe, it didn't come with instructions, but I want to say these little white beads, you can drip the essential oils on and use it as, you know, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> a diffuser on your arm. So that was in, um, for doing my first sale. And then it says two more sales and I get another free bracelet. Actually, I think I sold four. So maybe one's coming. And it also came with lavender which I'll probably give that. I don't like lavender. So I might give that to my sister. So this is the October box. So um, I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, so again, when you first order, you get the big box with it, which comes with the coconut oil, some uh, bottles and some roll-ons um, to make mixtures and um, beeswax or soy wax one or the other anyway it comes with all that so you can do all this recipe stuff so um i'll put the link down below if you're interested because this is time sensitive like i said um if you want the october box it it my instructions were that it will probably run out on the 23rd so you're gonna want to order it by the 20th if you want the october box but i will do another video of this i might do a combo of the two maybe anyway so it comes with fur needle digest eucalyptus and i don't know how you pronounce that catch a put <laughs> and um they sent me a little gift for it being late but they uh, it's actually cbd oil but they don't have that anymore so they don't sell that but it was a little gift because they had sent my thing late but it comes with a little uh something I'm not sure what that's going to be. You'll have to find out in the video. And then the recipe cards. I'll just go through them real quick, like I said. And so it gives you a recipe for... And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a link down below to the first video that I made for the Simply Earth um, Essential Oils. It's a monthly subscription box. Um, and you can save if you click on the link. And um, the information will be in the description box below. So a cooling massage oil. So it comes with recipes to make all different kinds of things. Again, watch the last month's video. Menthol chest rub, an all-purpose, ooh, multi-purpose cleaning spray. Awesome. Menthol shower steamers and a stomach soother roll-on. That's what this digest, is, I'm sure, is for. And then, so it comes with five recipe cards, and then this is clean the air defer, diffuser blend, and it tells you what to mix to um, to do that with. And it comes with some menthol crystals and some labels, and I think this is for the cleaning thing, and again, you'll see that in another video. And then just real quick, um, the November box comes with... Uh, winter spice cassia um you can't order that one yet um candy cane and lime and then a bunch of recipe cards so i'll be showing that in a another video okay it's a little late but i need to go take a bike ride i just need to actually looks like it's going to rain i'm just going to do a quick one so i was up 3 30 
because I went to bed at nine because I was so plum tired from yesterday. And, um, yeah, the, the littles didn't wear me, wear me out. I just was tired because they actually, the baby slept most of the time and whatnot. So whatever about that. So I was up at three 30 and then I felt with a headache, a slight one. They're not migraines guy. And, um, I was just achy and stuff. So I got up, got on the couch, used my massager and fell back asleep and, and uh, now it's late. So, and then I was looking over this stuff. And so I'm going to go for a bike ride and then I don't know. Oh, tonight I'm going to Kayla's uh, volleyball game. She did have one last night, but I was too tired. And so she has another one tonight and it's supposed to be fun because they're going to dress up. It's going to be a fun game, not a competition game where everybody gets to play because apparently she didn't get to play much this season because they weren't in it for a win, which I don't get because it's a homeschool group uh, volleyball team. I would think everyone would get to participate. Unlike when, oh, to tell you a story with that one, it looked lovely. When my son played football, so um, he had to play on the senior team at some point because of his weight, because it was a weight limit thing. And he had gotten all, well, he was in a growth spurt and he got a little heavy and anything like, you know, that age. He was like 13. So most of the kids were older than him, and um, most of the kids were older than him, so he didn't get to play much. So one game, um, and they just put him in a little bit. So one game, they were slaughtering, <laughs> slaughtering the other team. We were. We were slaughtering. Our, my son's team was slaughtering. I think they were ahead by 50 points, right? So then they just start putting uh, everybody in because of that. And they started putting um, the not-so-good players in as, um, like, the quarterback even. And uh, they didn't put Nick in. Barely. I'm trying to remember. It was a long, you know, that was a long time ago. They either didn't put him in at all. Or they didn't put him in very much that last quarter. They were just putting everybody in and letting the not-so-good players be the quarterback and all that kind of stuff. And, well, <laughs> we were not happy with that at all. And after the game, Hubby sent me and my son to the car. And he says, go to the car. I'm like, what are you doing? He says, just go to the car. <laughs> you could hear <laughs> my husband yelling at that coach. All the way from the parking lot. <laughs> yes. He was not happy. So that was that was just so wrong. The kids just want to play. I'm like, my God, we were killing them by over 50 points. It was ridiculous. There's no reason that they couldn't let Nick be the quarterback. That was just ridiculous. Anyway, I thought I'd share that little fun story. I'm sure that traumatized my poor son. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he wanted to play football, but he did it. Anyway, he much after that, I don't think he played football anymore, and he started doing science fair, and that was his thing instead of sports. So he did play soccer and baseball, and he did enjoy that. I'm not so sure he enjoyed football. Anyway, that's a story. <laughs> it's a couch chat. Okay, it says 5.8, but I had to go back to the house and get Bob's bike because mine ran out of battery. So 4.5, 5.8, you do the math. <laughs> sitting under this tree and I'm going to sit here and drink my Gatorade and I think I'm going to try to do 12 miles so I still have almost uh, two miles, well one and a half something like that um, before I go back to the house yeah then I won't have to do steps later I don't know, I might still have to do that Get my Gatorade to down for a little bit. Okay, stay tuned to next week's video where I will pick off where I left off in this video and make sure you go out and walk and join me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click my face right there and subscribe. And there'll be some videos right here and here for you to watch if you are interested. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day. Thank you.